projected top three pick on ESPN's 2022 mock draft, Paulo Banquero is poised to become the face of college basketball. 6'9", 250 with a 7-foot wingspan, Banquero is the next potentially great prospect to come out of the Seattle hoop scene. A versatile modern big with bounce, Banquero will take his talents to Duke next season, where he'll team up with fellow potential top five pick AJ Griffin in hopes of leading the Blue Devils to another national championship. Welcome to the film sesh of Paolo Banquero, an NBA draft deep dive evaluating why the teenage manchild may be college basketball's next great prospect. Boncaro's intrigue starts with his absurd physical measurements and strength. The Duke-bound freshman is a specimen who thrives around the hoop. Boncaro has the rare combination of dominating brute strength that pairs with a smooth finesse skill package that allows him to score in a multitude of ways. Boncaro has all of the tools that you want out of a modern-day big. When Paolo gets a smaller defender on him down low, he'll show off his effortless footwork down on the block, finishing with smooth pivots and up and unders. But Boncaro doesn't need the ball in his hands to be effective. When Paolo operates as a roll man, just get out of the way if you don't want to end up on a poster. Boncaro is also a willing mover off the ball, capitalizing on easy buckets off backdoor cuts. In the open court, Boncaro will be a handful as he runs the wing like a guard, finishing with his head above the rim. But Boncaro just as easily has the skills to grab and go himself, taking the ball coast to coast where he can both finish himself and create for his teammates. In the half court, Boncaro loves to operate in the mid post where all it takes is a jab step before blowing by his man en route to a monster rim finish. Paolo has the strength to initiate and take contact, and fouling him is often the only solution for opposing rim protectors. These downhill drives should be a huge part of Boncaro's game, and is something I'll be monitoring during his time in Durham, because as devastating as he can be when he's in attack mode, he's just as likely to settle for contested mid-range jumpers. Boncaro is often fine letting the defense off the hook by firing up these inefficient fadeaways. When these shots go in, they look like a possible go-to move for the big man, but the consistency isn't yet there. Boncaro has displayed an improved three ball, and extending the range may be one of the deciding factors on where exactly he lands in the top three. Boncaro has a little shake to his handle, and he uses hang dribbles and step backs to create separation to get his shot off cleanly. But again, he'll often settle for jumpers when he's so much tougher to guard near the rim. Making sure his shot is consistent enough to make defenses pay for going under ball screens is going to be important, but Boncaro has to find the balance in shot selection to optimize his immense scoring potential. The scoring intrigue is real, but it isn't the only offensive tool in Paolo's bag. Boncaro may not be an elite level primary creator at the next levels, but he's shown some fun flashes as a passer. Boncaro should demand loads of attention allowing easy points for savvy cutters. Out of ball screens, Boncaro has flashed the ability to collapse the defense and make reads to his shooters. And when he gets the ball down on the block, he's shown poise and patience in hitting shooters all over the floor. These weak side hits are devastating to the defense, and if Boncaro can make them consistently, he'll be a nightmare to game plan for. Defensively, Boncaro has mouth-watering tools that leave you daydreaming about how he could seamlessly one day guard one through five. When Boncaro is locked in and sliding his feet, he can stick with smaller ball handlers out on the perimeter, swallowing up their space. He'll have the size to guard bigger wings and wall up down low. Likewise, off the ball, Boncaro can bounce around the court, making sound rotations, forcing defenders into dead ends. He'll come over and erase rim attempts. Boncaro's versatility can be mesmerizing when he's at his best. However, Boncaro doesn't always go as hard as he can. He'll allow blow-bys, make half-assed attempts at stopping the ball, and he doesn't always go hard on the glass. His tools are too impressive to not consistently be a menace on defense. But this balance of effort on both sides is something young players often go through. Boncaro shouldn't have the same offensive load on his shoulders next season, and he'll get to learn the game from one of the all-time greats. There isn't much Paolo can't do on the floor. You combine his immense skill with his dominating physical tools, and Boncaro should be the early favorite to go first overall in next June's draft.